Why is NEET important? What are the roadblocks? See, uh, NEET is a exceptionally crucial uh, piece of legislation. And if implemented, will go a long way in cleaning up the medical education system in the country. What will happen is that once a NEET exam is conducted, it avoids and saves the students from about appearing for about 90-100 odd entrances for every institution in the country. He gives one examination, he or she gets a score which he can use to admit, get admission in any other colleges in the country. And because of that, colleges willingly will be forced to pick up based on one merit list which they prepare, which could be based on the community, could be based on caste, could be based on linguistic minorities, on whichever parameter which the college or the state mandate, they could make a merit list. But what will then happen is that within that merit list, the better student will always get admission. So backdoor entry, entry through paying capitation fee, all that will go away or if it happens will be caught easily. So, if a common entrance examination is implemented, it will one, make merit and foreground merit in terms of admissions and two, will remove all the black money which possibly is generated in the system and will go a long way in improving the health of the system. But because it is so good and because there are entrenched interest in this, it will also be challenged heavily which is what is happening right now. And there are three major challenges to this. One is a challenge founded by the state governments which did not conduct entrance examinations. Now they have a point that by conducting an entrance, subjecting their children to an entrance examination, the menace of coaching might actually come into the state and keep rural children to a disadvantage. But that can be supplemented. All that the state has to do is to reserve a certain segment of its seats for candidates from rural backgrounds and make life equal for those rural candidates. It is possible. Finding mechanism to circumvent is doable in this case, provided the state is interested. The other challenge comes from private and deemed universities and Institute of National Importance who conduct their own tests. That's a banal argument. It is not required at all. They can create a merit list depending upon the kind of objectives with which the institution is set up. So if it is a linguistic minority institution, if it is a religious minority institution, it can mandate a merit list for only from people from those communities, religion or language and then select the best children out of the list they generate. The question is to ensure non-discrimination and free admissions within that. It is easily doable even with the common entrance examinations. But challenges will be very heavy and we hope that it happens in the